Hi everyone. Hi everybody. Today we will be doing an overlay, a natural nail overlay using this entity soak off builder gel. So like a soft gel overlay oh. on these nails. Yes. And we noticed a very interesting thing. So you've been wearing the similar idea, just different products over a period of how many months? Months, I don't know, four altogether or something? Let's, let's and say. Pretty much that was non-stop. So we would review one product. Uh, we would do Some swatching. Uh, yeah, swatching too. But basically, you had the product on all the time. Yes. And the interesting part was that the nails actually the nail bed reattached further. The nails were actually quite long. Mm -hmm. And then the last couple of weeks, you didn't have any product on. The last two and a half weeks. Yeah. yeah, two and a half weeks, and they grew quite a bit. Yeah. And what we noticed was that when the product was removed. We shortened the nails completely. Yeah. If you take a look at this guy right here, like you can see just well, that how was, much it's well, kind of come back. Because mm -hmm. I mean, it was so attached right like, up to here. No, it was, was it? Yeah, look, oh, we'll you can do see some the lines. Videos. Okay, oh, we'll do some. Uh... It was like, it was way up here and it's actually cut back now. Mm -hmm. Well, no, that was when, because your nails were longer. But that's no, what we're discussing. Yeah, well, two things happened. The nails grew and the nail bed grew. So this was where the nails were, but maybe like this far, it was the nail bed. So we'll see, uh, this I just filed, there was like this little fluffy that's bothering me. But anyway, yeah, so we'll compare with, um, I'll just throw some pictures on uh, the video. To compare how the nails looked, how much longer the nail beds were. So yeah, so once we removed the product, what happened was, we shortened the nails completely so there was no free edge and like three days later there was like one millimeter which is i don't know how much it is in inches of free edge so they kind of separated which mm -hmm. is interesting anyway so we prepped the nails cleaned them removed the shine so i'm just going to use a little bit of primer so this is the entity new bond just on the free edge oh my god that's the stinky one. Oof, that one is something else Ooh. Oh my god, I'm gonna put the Oh yeah, no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you laugh, huh? Oh, I laughed until the smell got yeah. me. Holy so, moly. yeah, right? That is, that is some powerful stuff. So, um, so this gel comes in a, um, a jar. So I'm going to apply it with a brush, but I also put the same product in the bottle and we'll see, we'll do one hand with the brush in one hand very quickly. This is going to be quick. He's like going, oh my God, OMG. OMG. Okay, so we'll do this with a brush. And we're gonna cure it in the traditional UV because I don't have the entity lamp. And they suggest uh, a regular UV for um, three minutes. So, so we'll see how this goes. It's feels pretty liquidy or it seems pretty liquidy. So a bit too much. I'm gonna do two thin coats. The first coat is almost like a bonding coat. I know the lamp makes a noise, eh? Mm -hmm. It's so funny. So I used to use um, gels always in the in the jar and when I started using bottles it just felt so weird this seems so archaic yeah which it's not no it, it's, it's not it's no, just, but it just feels I mean, weird well yeah because I mean anytime that we've done don't move don't move yeah uh, you know done our videos over the last two years I mean it's very rare that you've used a gel, gel. other than it was like yeah. a hard gel yeah, so I'm kind of, uh, so the gel polishes got super, super popular, just generally, and people got used to these brushes in a polish, bottles, so now all these builders are coming out in, it stopped making noise, eh? So they started mm -hmm. making the builder in a bottle, now, well that version is more popular. Okay, so this one goes in the lamp. I gotta be careful, this is the low profile. Yeah. So normally you could work on the other hand, 
as this one is curing. Mm. And because we are working with a clear gel, you don't necessarily have to cure each coat for three, four minutes. With LED, it wouldn't make a difference, but with the, with the traditional lamp, with LED bulbs, with the traditional bulbs, the cure is longer, but um, if you freeze cure it really well, then you can add a second coat on top and the light will penetrate it properly to cure it anyway. Mm -hmm. So, am I making sense? Yes. Okay, so this has been here for a minute. Okay. Has it been a minute? Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna add, I can't see what I'm doing here. Okay, here. <laughs> I find when the First coat is really thin. Mm -hmm. The second coat goes on better and it doesn't shrink back. You know how the gels kind of shrink back from the free end a little bit? Mm -hmm. It happens less if you put two thin coats as opposed to one thick one. So I'm kind of wondering if uh, we might have to do a light buff, depending on, on how shiny this cures. That's why I'm not wrapping the free edge. So the wrapping free edge, it kind of started more with gel polishes, to be honest with you. You know my gloves make a sound? Sometimes you can hear it in my video. Hmm. I have to say it's not annoying. Okay, so there's a little And once little you hear thing. it, you can't I know, I'm hear it. it. Sorry, Thanks guys. a lot for that. I appreciate that, because I didn't notice it before until then. Okay, so now it goes in the light for a couple seconds. Thanks for sharing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just free cure it. Because I still have to do the thumb. It's yeah. fine. Three seconds, like one, two, three, it's enough. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, so this goes for three minutes into the traditional UV. And I'm gonna put this away and I'm gonna use the bottle next and see how that goes and we'll see how the end result is. Mm -hmm. And we'll see which one I like better. No, oh, because I'm gonna use it as the other hand. Oh. Yeah, in the meantime, as this is curing, we can use no. this. No? Why not? I never said otherwise oh okay okay so in so these brushes have they are softer so you can actually apply a little bit more pressure mm -hmm. because the other brushes the bristles are quite short so they put more pressure on well the they're product. stiffer right yes they are stiffer it's so funny i prefer this i think so we're going to do two thin coats Hmm. So the, the thickness is kind of reminds me of the or the or the consistency of the gelish structure. So we're gonna, um, well, you are going to wear it for two weeks and we'll see how it lasts. Okay, this goes in the lamp for a couple seconds just to freeze cure. Mm -hmm. Squeak, squonk. I'm really sorry for mentioning this. Now everybody's going to be complaining about the gloves. I should put like a music over it. 
Okay. For whatever so every squeak, care. you're gonna have like the sound of what? Like a bell horn? Quiet. It's only two minutes, so the three minute cure seems like forever, doesn't it? Oh man, it really does. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait for the better cure from this lamp. We've only done one coat, right? No, two. Oh wow. Let me just see if I can, let me just see. Hmm. If I can just add, because with this brush it's a little bit easier to wrap the free end. Mm hmm it is easier. So just kind of, I love these round brushes. Let's make sure you don't touch the skin with this, but... I think the three minutes are up, no? Yeah? Yeah, pull it out. Mm hmm So now this one goes into the lamp. For three minutes? Yes. I'm gonna do this and give me this hand so we can see. Mm hmm So I have a feeling it's not going to have shine. It's pretty dull. That's okay. Works fine by me. You know? No, because it needs a top coat. And this is one that is truly lumpy. necessary? Oh yeah. Oh. This one does need a top coat. Why? Because so it requires some are... shine. Yeah. Um. So if you're putting gel polish over oh, it, wow. yeah, it's yeah, it is though. Like very. So if you're putting gel polish over this, then you can. It's a good surface to put the polish. Mm. on but you see it's just not super I always look at the line of light mm -hmm. it's not um, not perfect so if you want to you can actually even applying actually before applying gel polish you can even it out a little bit And this is super quick because it's such a thin coat that it's not really uneven. It's just it's just not super perfect. So before the gel polish, I would do kind of this, this little buff. If you can see this. Okay, so we'll do top coat separately. Give me this hand. Let's finish. Not the other way. The other hand. But it's not three minutes yet. No, because we are going to put the second coat on top and okay. it's going to cure fully. Well, no, when I, well, I thought when I had asked earlier if oh. that was the second coat or... Yeah, and you're like, yeah, there's like two coats. That's why I was like, oh wow. No, what I'm saying is we're going to do two coats. I think you're missing what I... I'm... Yeah, okay. Anyways. obviously I'm missing something. What am I missing? Just earlier on in the conversation. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Sometimes, you know, talking and working and trying to uh, make sense on this video. You just don't pay easiest. attention to me. Yeah, but it happens. You know, I really prefer this brush. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. As I say, there's a fluff in there. Traditionally, we always get one fluff in the nails. It's our thing. Mm -hmm. It's our jam. You uh, seem a little restless. After we did the 20 minutes CND Creative Play removal, I'm not shocked. Yeah. Well, we've, yeah, we've, so been, we did, we've been filming for a while, so. For a while. So yeah, we did the CND Creative Play, if you guys are interested. I'm going to link this below. And you can see how that went. And why he's restless. Okay, so this goes in the lamp now. Did you put on a heat or anything? 
with those cards. Mm. Yes or no? A little bit. A little bit? A little okay. bit. Alright, okay, give me this hand. So this is kind of like finished, so what I'm going to do is just wipe this with alcohol and I'm going to do a top coat. And I'm not sure which top coat to use because I don't have the entity top coat. They kind of look good matte, but we're going to put something shiny. <laughs> You know what? I'm very happy with the way they are right no, now. No, because we have to test the top coat. Because I have a feeling they're going to pick up a lot of dirt like this. I think they need a top coat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, three minutes. Let's wipe this one. All right. And then we'll talk about the top coat. So much shorter. Mm -hmm. They're so beautiful. I'm gonna wipe them twice just to make sure that it's nothing is left on the skin. You don't have the gloves on. Does it feel sticky? No. So they. I'm not sure if you can see it. But the ends look a little round, right? Okay. So this is kind of more shiny, isn't it? Look. Yep, it is. Why is that? I don't know. And it looks more even. And it's been three minutes exactly, too, so I don't know. So here's what I'm gonna do to kind of just, because you know what? I don't like when they round off. If that's what kind of makes the nail look a little fake ish. So it's super easy to correct this. So I'm filing just on the free edge a little bit. Mm -hmm. Are you taking that kind of bulb in? Yeah, yeah, bulb? exactly. Yeah. And then I'm going to buff it a little bit. And the shine does not have to be removed absolutely perfectly because you know what, any top coat will stick to this anyway. Because this is such a porous surface. I think I'm gonna use the, the uh... I think I'm gonna use the favorite top coat I think which is nobody's gonna guess by a sculptor mm -hmm. so I'm not mixing lines really kind of right now because this I finished this enhancement so you could use any brand of nail polish now or gel polish on top of this this is wiped and the favorite top coat is this all right all right give me this one the only thing that i don't like about this is, is the brush yeah it's long Not the actual brush but the neck mm -hmm. so you kind of lose control well it's hard to it's just different mm -hmm. just kind of trying to paint with a broom Okay, hold on. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Just on it for a second. Just, just in front. Just for three seconds. Okay. So we're going to cure this in the traditional UV again, just because we have it out. But I do have the, the full line of colors, base coats, and the lamp, and the cleansers, and everything. So one of these days, I'm going to do a swatch. We're going to do a swatch video. Not today. And then I'm going to use the other lamp. Okay, I'm going to clean this up. Okay, doesn't it? For two minutes, and let's do this hand. I'm just keeping my hand in the, in the, uh, the lamp and making sure that everything's okay. Mm. I'm not bumping anything. I'd rather take an extra minute or two just so that uh, yes. we don't create any damage. If you guys are interested in uh, the Biosculpture swatch, let me know below in the comments. Oh my god. What, what is this? Fluff. I think this is most the most irritating thing that can happen next to a client being super late or something. All these fluffs. A video with me is not complete without the fluffs. So you know what you should do? It's a, a brush. Hold on. A clean brush. Just to make sure that, because sometimes the flaps are from the cotton that we just wiped the alcohol with. Mm -hmm. And the lint free cotton thingies have lint in a way. Cotton thingies? Yeah. Okay, you can pull the other hand out. And then I'll be in there for three minutes? No, two minutes. When the nails are short, it's hard sometimes to not to hit the skin. I dipped this in alcohol, by the way. So this picks up the, uh, the gel a little bit better. Okay, go some the line. Okay, so let's wipe the other hand. Let's see how this goes. To be honest with you, it looks good. But what I would do is I would use this builder under gel polish. I don't think I would do like a clear overlay with this builder because I would rather do two coats and not have to buff and not to do like a top coat. Mm -hmm. So I would use probably right now, I'm liking this Kucha better. We did the review, I'm gonna actually link this below. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna give it two minutes now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's turn the lamp off and clean nails. Actually, let's just see how big the package is. So this is quite big actually. It's 50 grams, which is 1.75 ounce. And the price is of a two bottles, kind of approximately of gel polish. 
So you are getting kind of, actually, how many actually? 175, so you're getting at least th like three bottles, right? For the price of two with this product. I got it actually, I'm really sorry for saying actually so many times, <laughs> at Nails R Us. Can you sit a little bit more straight? Let's just kind of make sure that the, uh, the free edges are nice and clean. And this doesn't really, if you go very lightly over the free edge, this doesn't really, I'm not gonna do this because this one broke and it was very short. Um, it doesn't really break the seal. It's just to make sure that there was no catches underneath because when people feel something underneath, they tend to pick a little bit. So yeah, this product is available at Nails R Us. In Canada, I'm not sure where it's available all over the world, but if you're watching in Canada, it's at Nails R Us. And by the way, the video is not sponsored or anything. Okay, so there it is. And we will be back with uh, the removal in two weeks uh -huh. and with the wear test, right? And one more thing, people are asking me about this oil. Uh -huh. And so this is on Vogue, uh -huh. but I'm going to be honest, I refill it with, we need to put the oil, with um, daddy oil. Because that's my preference, preference right now for oils. I like the other oil. Which one? The other one. Which one? I don't know. It's not a spray bottle. Oh, the spray. That's a quick dry from C&D. I like that one. It's yeah, it's like a cherry. It smells pretty. Almond cherry smell. It's very nice. Okay, so this is it. I hope you found this video helpful. And make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button. Go check us out on Patreon. Go learn something. Yes, I post uh, watch me work videos. Yes. On Patreon. Alrighty guys, we'll see you in two weeks and we will report back with the wear. Let me know if you're using the product and if you have any tips for the for the product. Yeah, for the a comment in the comment section. Entity below. product. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.